Ok baiklah kita akan teruskan ke kes yang terakhir iaitu kes yang ketiga Denominator with quadratic factor So recap we have a linear factors Linear factor here we have we can decompose menjadi A over X plus 1 B over X minus 2 Ok if you have a quadratic factor Ok ini ialah quadratic factor tapi dia bukan kes yang ketiga Because you can factorize this Ok so what does it mean by this case 3 ok ada highlight sikit dekat sini this is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized cannot be factorized ok kalau boleh di factorize kan dia akan consider sebagai linear factor so dia ialah case 1 for this case 3 is for quadratic factor that cannot be factorized ok so let's see the example if we have 7x plus 3 over x minus 2 so this is a linear factor and this one we have x square plus 7x plus 3 ok kalau kamu tekan calculator kat sini kamu takkan dapat jawapan kan kamu dapat point ataupun dapat imaginary number so this that is case 3 so how are we going to decompose this case equals to so first one ialah linear macam biasa a over x minus 2 ok how about this quadratic factor that cannot be factorized ni. Okay, cannot be factorized ni. Macam mana nak buat? If you remember, this is our divisor. Okay, so di atas ialah remainder kita. So, apa yang kamu ingat? Remainder, dia punya degree mesti kurang satu daripada kita punya divisor. So, that means if you have your factor, your divisor x square, your remainder should be power 1 ok so here kita tak akan dikomposkan dia sebagai constant kita akan tuliskan dia sebagai linear bx plus c x square plus 7x plus 3 ok nampak divisor kita ialah quadratic ok so yang di atas mesti kurang 1 daripada yang bawah sebab tu kat sini dia akan jadi linear so, whenever you have a factor that cannot be factorized, sorry, quadratic factor that cannot be factorized, so you have to put a linear dekat atas tu. Okay, kena letak bx plus c. Contoh lagi satu saya bagi, contoh if you have x, 6x square minus 8 over x, x square plus 1. Okay, so x tu macam biasalah linear, a over x x square plus 1 tak boleh factorize so we are going to put bx plus c ke atas dia ok so now let's proceed to the example 20 express the following as partial fraction is this a proper fraction atas degree dia ialah kosong bawah degree dia 3 so th yes this is a proper fraction so check the denominator we have a linear with a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. So you are going to decompose this partial fraction as a over x plus 2 plus a denominator that cannot be factorized. So atas mesti kena jadi bx plus c. Okay, jelas eh? So let's see kat sini saya nak guna method 1 lah. Saya nak guna method 1. For x Example 20, saya nak guna method 1. So, you can see lah mana satu cara yang paling mudah untuk kamu. So, first thing first, we have to factorize everything with the denominator. So, here will be 3. Here, we are going to left with x square plus 1. And here, bracket besar eh, untuk bx plus c. We have x plus 2. Okay. The only factor that we have is x equals to negative 2. Bukan x equals to negative 1 eh. Ingat x square plus 1 equals to 0. x square equals to negative 1. x is equals to square root negative 1. This cannot be the factor. Okay, sebab tu the factor that cannot be factorized. So, the only roots that you can use e here is x equals to negative 2. Okay, when x equals to negative 2, let's stop everything. We have 3 equals to uh, a times by negative 2 square plus 1 so dalam ni akan dapat 5a tu tak okay. 5a 3 
3. So we have A is equals to 3 over 5. And the other one, method yang pertama. So sekarang dah tak ada roots yang kamu boleh guna. These are the only, this is the only root that you can use. So for the first method, you can use any value. Okay, any value of your x. Okay, you want to use 0, 1, 100, 1000, 1 million pun boleh. Tapi kita akan start with the smallest value first. Supaya senanglah kita nak kira. So let's see if we use when x equals to 0 lah. Kita cuba 0. 0 dulu. Okay, so we will have 3 here equals to value of a we already have 3 over 5 so substitute terus 3 over 5 0 square plus 1 plus b times 0 plus c 0 plus 2 okay so here we will have uh, 3 over 5 and here you will have 2c so straight away we get our answer for c which is 6 over 5 Okay, got the answer for A. We have the answer for C and now we need to find B. That means you have to use any other value lagi. So let's try for when X equals to 1 pull up. You will have 3. A kita ada 3 over 5. Here will be 1 square plus 1. Plus B, we don't have value for B. C, we already have value for C. And here we have 1 plus 2. Okay, boleh kira sendirilah dekat sini. You should get your answer for B equals to negative 3 over 5. Okay, sub any value. Sub any value. Okay, sebenarnya dekat sini pun boleh sub any value. Tapi we do, we want to make our life easier so that we can cancel this. That's why we use the factor that we have. So don't forget to write your final answer. We will have uh, 3 over x plus 2. x squared plus 1. What's the value for a? 3 over 5 equals to 3 over 5x plus 2. Answer for B and C, let's find it. The denominator is the same. Okay, so we can straight away put it as like this. Okay, kita tulis siap. Yes. Kita tulis macam ni lah dulu. Negative 3 over 5x plus 6 over 5 over x square plus 1. Okay, macam ni tak cantik lah kan. Kita akan cantikkan dia. Five, both of these 5 kita akan bawa pergi bawah. And this one kita boleh tulis cantik sikit. Equals to... 3 over 5x plus 2 plus 6 minus 3x over 5x square plus 1. Okay. So this will be our final answer for a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. Okay, let's try the final answer. Eh, final answer pula. Final example. We have 4x plus 1 over x plus 1 x square plus 5x plus 1. So, a proper fraction with a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. Okay, decompose dulu. Kita ada 4x plus 1, x plus 1, x square plus 5x plus 1 equals to yang linear kat depan macam biasalah a over x plus 1. Quadratic kat belakang, tekan calculator dulu boleh ke factorize? Sepatutnya. Tak boleh. So, you have a quadratic as a denominator. Atas mestilah bx plus c. Okay. Quadratic that cannot be factorized eh. Kalau case yang kedua, repeated. Square dia di luar. Okay. Square dia di luar. Ni bukan quadratic yang cannot be factorized. So, you don't have to put bx plus c kat sini. Okay. So, now we can multiply everything. With the denominator, you should have 4x plus 1 equals to a x square plus 5x plus 1 plus big bracket for bx plus c x plus 1. Okay, for second example, saya nak guna method 2 which is comparing. Okay, so if you want to use compare, comparing method, kena expand lah. So, let's expand this. 4x plus 1 equals to 
e x square plus 5 e x plus a plus b x square plus b x plus c x plus c ok saya harap kamu nampak lah apa yang saya kop expand kan ni expand satu satu and now kita akan kumpulkan apa uh, variables the unknowns dia yang sama lah so left hand side biarkan je for x plus 1 ok x square we have a x square and b x square so that should be a plus b x square ok next for x we have 5 a x b x so here will be 5 a plus b x ok and then we have the other one plus c x that means 5 a plus b plus c x and then a constant a and c plus a plus c ok so now what are we going to do is we have to just compare everything so you have a plus b x square sebelah kiri ada x square tak 0 x square so we are going to compare with 0 lah a plus b equals to 0 ok the first one Second one, kita ada 5A plus 5BX. So, we are going to compare with 4. Okay. So, kat sini kita ada 5A plus B plus C equals to 4. And the last one here, we have A plus C. Ni constant eh. So, kita ada di sebelah kiri kita ialah 1. Okay. So, we have A plus C equals to 1. Alright. So now, kita pilih mana satu yang kita nak jadikan uh, subject. So you want to find, let's see. If you want to find, um, okay, contohlah dekat sini kita jadikan dulu B equals to negative A. Okay, semua kita jadikan negative A. Maksudnya, in terms of negative A. So here we will have A plus C, we will have C equals to negative A. Okay. So, substitute yang tengah-tengah ni, kita ada 5A plus B kita ialah negatif A. C kita pun sama. Eh, sorry, this one is 1 minus A. 1 minus A. So, C is 1 minus A equals to 4. So, from here you can get your final answer for your A. We have 5 minus 1 minus 1. 3A dekat situ kan? 3A. 4 minus 1 ialah 3. So, here we will get A is equals to 1. So, if you have the value for A, straight away you can get your answer for B and also C. Okay, nampak C kamu 0? Tak bermaksud jawapan kamu salah. Betul. Okay, so now let's try our final answer. Kita kecilkan sikit dulu. Our final answer should be looking like this. We have 4x plus 1 over x plus 1 x square plus 5 x plus 1 equals to a ialah 1 so we will have 1 over x plus 1 b kita ialah negative 1 and c here is 0 so we are going to have negative x over x square plus 5 x plus 1 and that will be your final answer so for this one you can use any method, you can use method 1 by substituting, substituting any value after you already use your roots. And um, second method is comparing. Okay, mungkin saya rasa compare lagi senang lah sebab less calculation kan? Okay. And here is your exit ticket, 17. Okay, don't forget to submit on GC today juga, alright? Okay, that is all for today. Thank you, guys.